All right, everyone ready to dive in. Today we are looking at generative AI and specifically how it's changing business strategy. Yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing stuff. We've got presentations, some course materials, expert opinions. It's not just hype either. Oh, really? Yeah, this is about AI that can create. Whoa. Imagine AI that can actually generate business strategies themselves. Yeah. You know, moving beyond just spreadsheets and reports. So not just crunching numbers, but actually coming up with ideas. Exactly. Okay. I am intrigued. But... For those of us who haven't, you know, been living in a tech lab for the last year, sure. what exactly is generative AI? Um, well, think of it this way. Instead yeah. of just analyzing what's already there, mm. generative AI learns from a ton of data okay. to create something totally new. Oh, wow. We're talking, you know, marketing copy, mm -hmm. product designs, even music. It's yeah. like having a team of creative geniuses at your beck and call. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All powered by algorithms. Okay. That's, that's pretty amazing. Are there companies actually using this stuff already? Oh, yeah. This isn't just future dreaming. Okay. This is happening now. Manufacturing, marketing, you name it. Companies are using generative AI to get a real edge. Like how? how? What are they doing with it? Well, imagine AI that can uh, analyze market trends before they even become trends. Wow. Or, or get this, AI that creates custom business strategy advice. Oh, wow. Like through a chatbot consultant. And chatbot consultant. Yeah. So instead of paying, you know, tons of money for a team of experts, mm -hmm. you can build your own AI advisor. Exactly. Using, you know, something like ChatGPT. Right. That seems almost too good to be true. Well, there is a catch. Oh, okay. It's not as simple as, you know, plugging in data and letting it run wild. Okay. You need to know how to talk to the AI. What do you mean? It's uh, what we call prompt engineering. Prompt engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Getting the best output from the AI means asking the right questions. And that's where things get really interesting. Okay, so walk me through this. How do you actually build this business strategy chatbot consultant? Uh -huh. Where do you even start? Well, first, you, you have to figure out what you want from this AI advisor. Okay. Do you want market analysis? Right. Competitive intelligence? Yeah. Once you know that, you gather the data. Mm. Industry reports, market research internal documents. I see. More relevant, the better. So it's not like a magic solution. Right. You still have to do the work to train the AI properly. Exactly. What happens after you've gathered all the data? Well, then the key is cleaning and prepping that data. Oh, okay. The AI is only as good as what you feed it. Right. Think of it as laying a solid foundation for your AI advisor to build on. Okay. Then comes the training. Mm -hmm. You feed the data into a platform like ChatGPT. Right. And... Uh, use prompt engineering to teach it how to think. So prompt engineering is like uh, giving the AI a crash course in business strategy, yeah. but tailored to your specific needs. Exactly. You're essentially teaching the AI to see the patterns you need it to see, to connect the dots in a way that gives you actionable insights. Oh, okay. Ask the right questions. Yeah. Yeah. And the AI delivers the strategic goods. I can see how this could be like incredibly powerful yeah but also maybe a little daunting yeah what are some of the challenges yeah. that businesses face when they're trying to implement generative ai for strategy definitely hurdles is it all smooth sailing from here definitely hurdles yeah. data quality is a big one like yeah. we talked about but also tailoring the ai to your specific industry right it's not one size fits all it makes sense and of course there are technical challenges yeah. even with user-friendly platforms yeah building something sophisticated still requires some know-how you wouldn't trust a human consultant who didn't understand your industry right so the same goes for an ai advisor right Exactly. But it does sound like the payoff could be huge. Right. If you can overcome those challenges. The potential is enormous. Really? Imagine having an AI that's constantly analyzing market trends, oh, anticipating yeah. your competitor's next move, yeah. give you advice tailored to your business. Wow. It's like having a strategic mastermind. Okay, now I'm really seeing the appeal. Yeah. But let's get practical. How do businesses actually get the knowledge and skills they need to make this happen? Well. Is there like a roadmap to success. That's where these specialized courses come in. Oh, okay. They provide the training and support people need. Yeah. They teach you how clean the data, customize the AI for your industry, and overcome those technical hurdles. So it's like having a guide to take you through the uncharted territory of generative AI. Exactly. And come out on the other side, you know, with a with a powerful strategic weapon. Right. I'm guessing those courses are pretty popular. They are given all the buzz around this. And what's 
fascinating is the diversity of people taking them. All kinds of industries, different levels of technical experience. Everyone's trying to get in on this. Okay, I'm sold. Sign me up. Our sources actually gave us a peek inside one of these courses. Oh, nice. And it sounds seriously cool. What stood out to you about the way it was structured? Well, they're big on hands-on learning. It's not just lectures and theory. Oh, good. They've got yeah. group projects, real-world case studies, the whole nine yards. Wow. Plus, they divide the participants into groups based on their industry and experience with AI. Oh, that's smart. Which creates a really dynamic learning environment. So you're not just learning from the instructors, you're learning from people with different backgrounds and perspectives. Right. It's like a think tank for generative AI strategy. Exactly. They call it the uh, industry balance and AI experience balance principle. I love that. So let's say you have 60 people in the course. Okay. They split them into 10 groups of six. Gotcha. Making sure each group has a mix of industries and expertise levels. That's, that's really smart. It levels the playing field. Yeah. Makes sure that everybody has something valuable to contribute, okay. whether you're a seasoned AI expert or just, you know, dipping your toes in the water. It's not just about learning the tech. It's about understanding how to apply it in different contexts. Yeah. That's where the real magic happens. Okay, I am hooked. I want to hear more about this course. But I think we've covered a lot of ground already. Yeah. Okay, so we're back and ready to really dig into this generative AI course. Yeah, sounds good. It has me seriously thinking about a career change. Oh, wow. Last time we talked about what generative AI is and, and how it works. Mm -hmm. But now I want to know how this course actually gets people ready to use this tech in the real world. Well, it's all about giving people the tools and experience. <laughs> they need to hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't just some abstract theory. Right. It's about getting your hands dirty and actually building things. I remember you mentioned hands-on learning. What does that actually look like in this course? They use a bunch of different approaches, you know. Okay. Lectures, case studies, group discussions. Mm -hmm. But um, most importantly, hands-on exercises. Okay. They have participants actually build and train AI models. Really? Experiment with different prompt engineering techniques. Wow. And really get a feel for how to use these tools effectively. So it's not just about understanding the concept, it's about developing the practical skills. Right. To apply them exactly and they're doing this with a diverse group of participants right that's right mixing industries experience levels exactly that's a key part of their teaching philosophy yeah you know they call it the uh, industry balance and ai experience balance principle right ensures that everyone brings something unique to the table i see it creates a really collaborative learning environment i can see how that would be incredibly valuable yeah you'd be learning not only from the instructors right but also from people with a wide range of backgrounds and perspectives it's like a real world simulation. Oh, okay. Of what it's like to actually work with AI in a business setting. Interesting. You're going to have people from different departments, different industries, mm. all coming together to solve problems and develop strategies using these tools. All right, let's get specific. Okay. Our sources highlighted some pretty cool examples of the hands on exercises in this course. Uh huh. What were some of the ones that caught your eye? Well, one that stands out is an exercise focused on optimizing chat GPT prompts. Okay. They have participants take existing prompts mm -hmm. and try to improve them to get better outputs from the AI. That's a great way to really drive home the importance of prompt engineering. Yeah. It's like learning to speak the language of AI. Exactly. So you can communicate your needs clearly, yeah. get the results you're looking for. And it's not just about getting the AI to do what you want. Yeah. It's also about understanding its limitations, right. how to work within those limitations. Mm -hmm. The course really emphasizes the importance of critical thinking when it comes to using these tools. So it's not just about becoming a technical wizard. It's about developing the strategic mindset exactly. to use these tools effectively in a business context. That's right. They also have participants work on larger projects yeah. where they apply generative AI to real world business challenges. Mm -hmm. For example, they might have a group tasked with using AI to conduct market research for a new product launch huh. or analyze competitor data to identify potential threats and opportunities. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow. So they're really throwing participants into the deep end. They are. And letting them get their hands dirty. Yeah. I can imagine how empowering that would be. It is. To walk away from the course with not only a theoretical understanding of generative AI, mm -hmm. but also concrete examples of how you can apply it in your own business. And that's what sets this course apart. Yeah. It's not just about academic knowledge. 
It's about giving people the confidence and skills to actually implement these tools and make a real impact. Okay, I'm officially sold on this course. That's great. It sounds like the perfect blend of theory and practice. Uh -huh. But before we move on, I'm curious about the instructors. Sure. What can you tell us about the people leading this course? Well, according to our sources, the lead instructor is a uh, renowned expert in international business strategy. Oh, wow. A Dr. Shimin Lo. Okay. He's got a really impressive background in both academia and the business world. That's really reassuring. Yeah. It sounds like participants are in good hands. Absolutely. Dr. Lowe's expertise in international business, combined with his deep understanding of AI, mm -hmm. makes him the perfect person to guide people on this journey. And it's not just about the instructors either. Yeah. yeah. This course is also backed by a reputable institution. Oh, okay. National Chinan University. I've heard of them. They're known for having strong business and technology programs. Yeah, that makes sense. The university's reputation adds a lot of credibility to the course. Right. Ensures that participants are receiving a high-quality education. It's a powerful combination. It is. Expert instructors and institutional support. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I think we've covered the who and the how of this course. Mm -hmm. Now I want to talk about the why. Okay. Why is this course so important right now? No. What does it say about the future of business right. and the skills people need to succeed? This course is a reflection of a larger shift that's happening in the business world. Okay. Generative AI is no longer a futuristic concept. Right. It's a reality that's rapidly changing the way we work, make decisions, and compete. It's like we're standing at the edge of a new frontier, mm -hmm. and this course is providing a map and a compass to help people navigate it successfully. Exactly. What about the people who aren't taking this course? Right. Who are maybe feeling a bit overwhelmed by all this talk of AI? Yeah. What would you say to them? I would say that the time to get on board is now. Oh. Generative AI is not going away. It's only going to become more powerful and pervasive in the years to come. Mm -hmm. The longer you wait to learn about it and develop the skills to use it, yeah. the further behind you'll fall. It's like the internet in the early days. People who embraced it early on yep. had a huge advantage over those who waited. Yeah. And I think we're seeing the same thing happening with AI now. Absolutely. But the good news is yeah. there are resources available to help people get up to speed. Oh, good. Courses like the one we've been discussing are a great place to start. Right. But there are also tons of online articles, videos, and even free tools that can help you get familiar with the basics of generative AI. I think that's a really important point to emphasize. Yeah. There's a lot of hype around AI, but it doesn't have to be intimidating. Right. There are ways to learn about it at your own pace and find resources that fit your needs. And the more people who understand this technology, mm. the better equipped we'll be as a society to shape its development yeah. and ensure that it's used for good. Right. It's not just about business. It's about the future we want to create. Well said. I think that's a great segue into the final part of our deep dive. Okay. Where we'll explore the broader implications of generative AI. Right. And what it means for the future of work innovation, and even society as a whole. Sound good. Stay tuned, listeners, because things are about to get really interesting. Okay, so we've made it to the final part of our deep dive. Yeah, it's been a fascinating journey. It has been. We've uh, journeyed through like all the technical nuts and bolts. Right. We've explored how this course is training like the next generation of AI strategists. Yeah. But now I kind of want to get philosophical. Sure. What does generative AI really mean for businesses, for, you know, for all of us. Right. What's the big picture here? I think we've talked a lot about the how. Yeah. Now it's about the why. Generative AI isn't just another tech trend. It's like a fundamental shift in how we approach problems yeah. and create solutions. I like that. So it's not just about, you know, doing things faster right. or more efficiently, mm -hmm. but doing things differently altogether. Exactly. Yeah. Think about um, strategic decision making. Okay. In the past, you know, we relied on gut feeling, mm -hmm. past data, limited perspectives. Mm -hmm. It was like navigating in the dark. Yeah. But generative AI brings a floodlight to that process. So instead of relying on intuition or, you know, limited data, you can use AI to like see patterns, right. trends, opportunities that were hidden before. Exactly. That's powerful stuff. Imagine being able to run countless scenarios. Oh, wow. Test different strategies. Mm -hmm get almost instant feedback mm -hmm. from an AI that has processed more data than any human could ever hope to. That's amazing. That's the kind of advantage we're talking about. And it sounds like it could 
like level the playing field too. Absolutely. You know, smaller businesses, mm -hmm. startups, they could have access to the same kind of strategic insights that were once only available to, you know, huge corporations. Exactly. It democratizes strategy in a way. Yeah. But it's not just about making better decisions. It's about making them faster. Right. In today's world, speed can be the difference between, you know, success and irrelevance. Yeah. And generative AI can help companies keep up with that pace of change. Exactly. Think about uh, product development. Okay. Instead of spending months or even years developing a new product, right. you can use AI to generate ideas, yeah. create prototypes, test them in virtual environments, mm -hmm. all in a fraction of the time. It's like having a fast forward button for innovation. Right. Wow. And that speed can give companies, you know, a huge advantage. Absolutely. Doesn't stop there, right? No. Customer service, marketing, right. even creating entirely new business models. Mm -hmm. Generative AI is transforming everything. It's true. So we're talking about like a fundamental shift, not just, you know, incremental improvement. Right. It's not yeah. just about, you know, optimizing what we already do. Right. It's about unlocking entirely new possibilities. Yeah. Pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Okay, now I'm starting to get a sense of the scale of this. It's not just about automating tasks. It's not about, you know, improving efficiency. Right. It's about, like, changing the way we think, the way we solve problems, yeah. the way we create value. Exactly. And that's what makes this such an exciting time to be in business. You know, it's a chance to redefine the rules of the game, to explore uncharted territory, and to create a future that, you know, we can only begin to imagine. Yeah, but with all of this potential comes a lot of responsibility, right? Oh, absolutely. We need to make sure that we're using this technology wisely, mm -hmm. ethically, and for the benefit of all. It's a powerful tool. And like any tool, it can be used for good or for ill. It's up to us to make sure that generative AI is used to create a better world, not just a more profitable one. And that's where education and awareness come in, right? Absolutely. The more people who understand this technology, its potential and its pitfalls, right. the better equipped we'll be as a society to like shape its development and guide it in the right direction. It's not just about technical skills. It's about critical thinking, ethical awareness, mm -hmm. and a shared vision for the future we want to create. Well said. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive. Yeah. It's been an incredible journey exploring the... Uh, the depths of generative AI and its potential to transform business, you know, and beyond. To our listeners, we hope this deep dive has challenged your assumptions, mm -hmm. sparked your curiosity, and maybe even inspired you to take the plunge into this uh, exciting new world. Remember, the future is not something that happens to us. It's something we create. And with tools like generative AI at our disposal, the possibilities are truly limitless. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive.